सो हेलो ऑल सो वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग अबाउट यूज ऑफ स्क्रिप्टिंग इन सर्विस नाउ डिफरेंट प्लेस वेयर वी कैन राइट स्क्रिप्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू आर बिजनेस रिक्वायरमेंट देन वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सम ऑफ द फंक्शंस विच वी कैन मेनली यूज इन क्लाइंट स्क्रिप्ट देन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट क्लाइंट स्क्रिप्ट एंड ऑन सेल एडिट एंड ऑन चेंज क्लाइंट स्क्रिप्ट सो इन कंटिन्यूएसन टू दैट इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑन चेंज क्लाइंट स्क्रिप्ट so as i previously told you client script runs on the client side so this type of particular client script which is on change runs when a particular visit or we can say a field changes its value okay an on change client script must contain a function named on change and this function automatically get inserted when you select on change in the type field on the client script form so here you get uh, some kind of you can say predefined parameters or variables which you can make use of so i will explain what each uh, of them are referred to so control so when you uh, select on change client script okay let me just navigate directly to the service now instance so i will type here as client script okay so let's move to the client script and uh, we will create new okay so this is the client script form where you can write your client script here as previously told you can select the table on which your um, logic need to run so again i will select incident here so it sometime takes time so yeah it's come so now i have selected the table now type so we are discussing on change so see as i selected the type you can see the on change function automatically pop ups in the script field now here you get some of these values as part of this function so how they are significant how you should understand these value while writing the client script basically on change client script how you can make use of these things okay so first thing is control this is a kind of the html uh, widget that just change so basically uh, the widget which you are changing it provides you the kind of html control for that particular way. old value so here if you have observed when i selected the on change type of client script here you can see one new field came up that is field name so why default here it active is selected so you can select any field okay as per your requirement means basically that should be available on the table which you have selected so on change of i say sort description on change of impact i want to run some code or i want to do some validation or i want to do some value uh, set on particular field so you can select that particular field here so old value so let's say you are using this active field so old value will give the the value which was previously for that particular field basically the value which was saved in the database previously for this field new value the value which you have selected currently on the form so that will be new value here you see is loading function so is loading function as i told in my previous video that uh, the on change client script can run on on load as well so let's say you have a logic uh, where you need to run the script on on load 
as well as on the on change of the particular field okay so uh, for an example you can say like when caller is filled in some field uh, caller field on the incident then location should get auto populated so let's say uh, when the form loads the caller automatically get populated like you have written some default value so for on the new form the caller get logged in user get automatically populated that means the form when the form presented to the user the caller is already filled now if the caller is filled then location should also get auto populated that means your code should also run on on load now once the form loaded if user changes it to another caller then what happens then on change event happened so caller field get on change then also the script should run so in such kind of scenario where you need to run your code on on load as well as on change you can handle both the things in the on change client script you need not to write uh, one on change client script and one on load client script separately you can handle both the things in the on change client script how you can handle here if you see by default it is saying if is loading then return that means is loading gives you uh, two values true or false so if the form is loading then is loading identifies okay if the form is loading it returns true that means if form is loading then return so it will return the code from here itself it won't execute the code written below that means you are stopping this script to run from on on load and if you will remove this particular is loading from here that means now this particular code will run on on load as well as on change so is loading is for this purpose when you need to handle on change as well as your on load logic in the same script you can remove this is loading from the return part the another here you can see uh, when new value is equal to is equal to blank it means triple so it compares if the new value which you have selected is blank then if you don't want to do anything on the form then you can have this but if you have some logic when the new value is blank then you can remove this part as well the another is is template it identifies whether the change occur as part of the template load or not so you can do your logic according to that so i have explained all the <coughs> parameters available here for you so you can make use of these according to your business case in different scenarios okay so i will this reload this form so i will move to next slide so here uh, we have a lab session for on change client script so it says create a on change client script named lab on change client script test one on the incident table select the on change field as impact so we have to write a client script on change of impact so this is our client script form so we will type the name lab on change script one okay now here uh, or uh, you can type uh, full name and script test one here you can select the table okay so i will type incident sometimes this table selection takes time so just type and wait I D N T. So now this is selected. Now, as I told again, uh, the UI type on which UI type you want to run. So you can select that according to your requirement. Then you can select the on change function and field name is impact. 
okay so as you see here the preloaded on change function get uh, auto populated in the script field now you have the script here so let me just okay Maybe i need to just go out of here i need to so i will copy this one so you can type while you are doing i will just copy and paste it here so here you have this code so i am just uh, throwing an alert to the user when user is changing the impact on the incident ticket you can write a logic like if user is changing the impact then uh, comments should be mandatory or any other logic if you want according to your business requirement you can implement in this particular on change client script so i will just save it okay now let's just move to the incident form okay so let's go to open incidents and open one of the incident so this is our previous lab assignment now here if i will change the impact it should throw an alert c you are about to change the priority are you sure so basically as you uh, you are aware that impact and urgency make change to priority so basically priority this is a priority matrix so if you are change priority get decided according to the impact and urgency so if you are changing the impact that means priority is also going to be impacted that's what this alert is coming so here you, if you observed this priority got changed so if you will let's say right now it is 2 if you will make it 3 and it will again give you an alert if you are clicking okay the priority is getting changed so this is how on change client script work so maybe we have a uh, one more assignment here so and there is like you can take confirmation from the user once he is doing something changing some you can take confirmation and do your further logic accordingly so let me just uh, showcase this one as well on change that is fine now sort description okay let's say by mistakenly if user have changed something or there could be a different business case as well so i will just copy this code you can type while doing the exercise so basically uh, you can take confirmation if user change want to confirm uh, change or not and if he confirms it confirm returns you that true or false so you can take decision accordingly and uh, make your business logic further so let me just reload this form again to get the new client script reflected here so let's say i am changing the sort description okay now you have changed the sort description now you have given a confirmation maybe sometime user change why mistakenly they type in so you are giving the confirmation to the user are you sure you want to change the sort description of the incident okay so you can either he can click okay or cancel so if he clicks okay that means it is return he the function will return you true so uh, further you can write the code if confirm uh, is true then you can do your further logic if he cancels then maybe you can set it to the back description sort description so this is how uh, you can utilize this particular on change client script 
सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द वीडियो आई विल बी बैक विथ सम अदर न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट एंड न्यू वीडियोज़ थैंक यू